Keep her moving. A lightweight bout. Jacoby Jones coming in at minus 315 against Dan Allen, sitting at plus 210. Uh, Allen, 4-0, 31 years of age for him. Uh, he trains at AKA. And Jacoby Jones, 6-1 and one in his professional career, 27 years old for him. You see the height uh, advantage for Dan Allen. I would expect him to be a little bit longer. Uh, just watching his fights, AKA guy. Takes him down, top pressure, heavy with it. It's a pretty uh, sizable dog coming in here against Joby, Jacoby Jones, um, who is not undefeated, but has fought the better competition, no doubt about it. All of his fights have been in LFA, uh, and he's gotten four finishes on his record. I look at this one like if Daniel James Allen doesn't take him down, like... I don't know what his stand-up really looks like, you know, like watching him on the the four fights that he has. The, he's got a 17-second knockout, but that guy, Ivan Burgos, was a straight-up bump, like a straight-up scrub. He knocked him out clean. Like, it looked like it was the easiest fight you could ever set up for a guy. But then if he gets you down, like, you're not getting up. Like, Daniel James Allen has some pretty good top pressure training at AKA. That's scary. So... I don't know. I feel like there's some probably some value on the dog here. What do you think? Yeah, there could be value on the dog here. And it's not going to, if he wins, it's not going to be a fun fight to watch at all. Yeah. He goes straight across the cage, doesn't even look to strike at all, and just relentlessly tries to get these takedowns. And from the competition he's fought, like he lands a lot of them. I mean, he's got that style on the feet um, that you can just see him loading up to shoot a double leg or, or a single leg and try to get the fight to the ground. He's patient and he waits for guys to strike. And once they throw or overextend, he's in on him. Once he gets the hand clasps, he takes you down. And honestly, for Jacoby Jones, I've seen him get taken down on film a couple times. And, uh, you know, he's fought decent competition too. But when he gets taken down, he does do a decent job of working back up to his feet. He's not really getting finished or um, anything like that. But the one thing I do like about him is his last fight for the LFA championship against a guy named... Uh, Ooh, Lebo Snoyani. If you watch that round one, man, it was an all-out war. Both guys were thrown with everything they had. There was some work on the ground. Jacoby ended up getting on the ground and uh, was landing some great ground and pound. Both guys busted up. And he went on to the second round and ended up finishing the fight. So I like the toughness. I like that this dude's been in wars. He's not fighting bums where he's just running through guys. Like, this guy's faced adversity. He's been cracked before. He bounces back. I like that aspect of the experience. Whereas Dan Allen, I mean, you're banking on a on a takedown for him if you're betting on him. Because if he doesn't get it, Jacoby Jones is going to piece him up on the feet. And, you know, J even though Jacoby Jones has been taken down some, um, he's also showed at times to be able to to stuff some of the takedowns. And once guys get their hands clapped, he does all the right things to kind of break the grip and separate. So, yeah, at minus 315, though, against a dominant wrestler, it's hard to take him there. I mean, I, I'm not gonna, I would not touch that money line. I think jo Jacoby Jones probably does get it done, but it's uh, it, it'd be sketchy if you have him in your parlays or if you're taking him straight up on the money line at minus 315. Yeah, the uh, silver lining for it, if you like the Jacoby Jones side, does have a wrestling background, wrestled in college, Colorado State University, Pueblo, trains at a good gym as well, Factory X Muay Thai in uh, Denver, Colorado. And then uh, if you don't know what AKA is, that's where Daniel James Allen trains. That's like uh, Cain Velasquez, DC, Habib, like a very wrestling heavy camp. So that's what you're going to get from him. Uh, for the pick, I'm going to go with Jacoby Jones. But yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I could lay that heavy chalk because, um, you know, it could be that boring fight. And J Daniel Allen could go in there and just get takedowns and, and uh, lay on top of them, but uh, it's going to be a tough task.